Hey, it's March 14th, 2017, and there's a cosmetic upgrade and two new ships in the seaport. That's it. But let's take a look at a few ships. Uh, no surprises here. Maximum crew of Greyhound only goes up to 150. And the Pelicans, 140. Again and again, this basically proves that at some point they might put totally new ships that goes over that. Uh, crew count and have destinations that require you have ships that have over 150 crew counts and makes all our old ships obsolete. I guess that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, I mean it's hitting level 199. So I'll think that a level 200 something will be different. Yeah, see so up to now it's only it's within level. 200 levels so that's why I think that's gonna happen okay but anyhow there's still nice ships nice yeah, it doesn't cost a lot of gems pretty good for your fleet I won't be getting that much ships anyways uh, but let's not go into that let's look into the patch notes it loads a bunch of words pretty big transformation there's a new map uh, if they make maps exploration more often for people who are watching this that don't have the whole map unlocked this would be useful I guess it'll be more interesting because unlike what's happening before there's only like three unlocks on in terms of the map the permanent map that you can unlock there's only three but now you can unlock more gradually maybe instead of three it's six you eventually still get the same amount of destinations but you ascend it more often that's what I say is here um, as for destinations they give you a warning because <laughs> if you don't look at the places where the destination is you'll send it to another one but I'll show you the map just soon enough so as I say here this, the map is the same they're not taking away anything they're not really adding anything it's just changing some of these things and as expected the every time there's an event there's going to be temporary exploration places Yeah, I'm not even level 216, but I guess they're, they just continually build these levels up. No surprise there. Change graphics of news window. I figured, yeah, I think that is different now. This is nice, I have to tell you. When you click on the building, you can see if it makes wood, you'll have a wood icon, so the gear icon every single time. I, I like that, I agree with that decision. I guess nobody's using gems here for upgrades. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what this means. Small change at the start of the game for new players. Tutorials? More ships? Easier to play? I have no clue. Maybe it's High Sailor? Um, I figured, yeah, they're changing this so then it's probably easier to level up your. Uh, the town hall if you're if you're just starting out because I think a lot of people are just not they don't find this game fun and just don't play it and that's a problem and I actually say if I can have an opinion that's the beginning of the game is much more boring much more repetitive and there's nothing you can really do you you're just waiting it's it's extremely boring so this is no surprise Heck, I, I will think that they will change this law quite a while ago because they can look at the data and say oh a lot of people just played it for two minutes and stop playing not because the game later on doesn't make it isn't more enjoyable but in the beginning it's just downright it's like it's worse than watching paint dry small town 
on. Yep, that's exactly what they're doing because when in the beginning you have to collect wood and gold, and it's not fun sending two ships out <laughs> and wait for five minutes. I tell you, it's not fun. Not fun at all. Oh, they did change. So they, I guess part of the UI change or user interface is that they make this much more friendly. There's a graphic here. They tell you that you can convert fish into other resources. They didn't, they didn't tell any of this in the beginning. None of it, none of it. These are the basic mechanics of the game. And in the beginning, you don't know what's going on. These two diagrams, it's a good move for them. Oh, that's it. Okay. Nothing interesting here. Game didn't crash. Hooray! Don't worry about this. Never send fish. Never send boats to fish to your neighborhood unless unless you just want to. Unless you have OCD like I do. <laughs> Blacksmith coastline. I thought some names were different. Or was I hallucinating? I was probably hallucinating. I thought this was a blacksmith. I thought they renamed this. Nope, apparently it's my imagination. Okay, so let's talk about the destination. They moved some of these destinations around. Francis was is here now, was down here. Fernando was over here. So I think the difference is they can unreveal some of the map before here was explored. Now they can actually take this back. And the reason is because as they make more and more places, they can't keep all these stuff too far apart. Otherwise, it's a mess. Everywhere is a mess. You don't know where which item is, unless you played a lot, or you're used to the destination. So what I do like is that Smart Hand is still where he is. Five minutes. Coastline, 15 minutes. Blacksmith, an hour. Bamboo is 10 minutes. So these are pretty close. Where before, it's over here for coastline. So cave, oh, misclick. Cave, uh, blacksmith, is one hour. The vineyard, Francis Taylor, two hours. So in some ways, you can kind of group them together. Gulf was one hour too, but you see they're here. Gulf, Cave, Blacksmith, they're kind of much, much closer. Cave was here before, and Gulf was all the way over here. So it's like, it was everywhere. You can't, you can't guess um, how long a destination is just by its location. But here's like two hours, one hours. These are the starting ones. So I'll see they're, they're kind of like the same distance from it. As if 30 minutes and then you get to once you get to here this is still two hours this is four hours 30 minutes okay four hours so you see four hours and four hours are closer I like that I like the fact that they're putting grouping things by distance it seems weird before that uh, this takes five minutes and then going to Gulf is one hour visually the design is a little bit more confusing. And all these eight hours are together now. Isn't that beautiful? Rivia, Forest, Rocky Mill, Iron Mill. All eight hours together. So I think that's that's something that um, when they're designing the game in the beginning, they just kind of plopped it everywhere. Now that they bring it together, I think this is way more beautiful. Because if they add another destination here, I was like, oh, it's eight hours. If you add a destination here, it'll be probably be, oh, one hour. I think it's just less confusing. And that falls in line with the same, the incremental exploration that they talked about before. I think that's, that's a good move by them, and it's less confusing for new players. For me, it, it'll probably take a little bit of getting used to, because I kind of have that map in my mind. But no worries. Okay, I think this patch is, uh, that's it really about this patch. Nothing really interesting. Um, we're still closing up on 
these pots of gold but that's it I'm done with those achievements then uh, and until the next event I'll see you guys next time thank you for watching